Hi, this is a brief video, hopefully brief, on how to do the Endocrine Physio EX. So start by logging into Mastering, like I've done here, uh, and then I think it'll work better visually if you actually do it in Mastering instead of in the Canvas window. Um, so click on My Lab and Mastering, and then open My Lab and Mastering. Then find the Assignments tab right there, click on Assignments, click on Endocrine Physio EX, and then open the Pre-Lab quiz. And that is take, there we go, it takes just a second to load. Um, if you feel like you understand uh, the endocrine physiology pretty good, there's a you'll see there's a brief video um, or a brief explanation that I'll give you following this. Um, you can just take the pre-lab quiz if you want to. If you want to read up on the endocrine system and this particular activity before taking the quiz, um, click here on the activity and then it will open and you can read the overview um, which is a general overview about the endocrine system that is not as important as reading the introduction um, which covers specifically thyroxin or thyroid hormone and how it is controlled and oh yeah what happens if you don't have enough thyroid hormone once you feel you understand everything well enough, you can go and take the quiz. Now, then after you take the pre-lab quiz, if you've kept the uh, experiment window open, you can do the experiment. I'm going to take you through one round of testing a rat quickly, just so that you understand how it all works. Um, you will want to do it slower than this and read carefully what it says in the corner over here. So you take your rat, you put it in the metabolic chamber, uh, you weigh it, and then you close this clamp, click next, then you set the timer to a minute, it's not going to take a full minute, it goes by in like 10 seconds, and you hit start and then you wait for what seems like an eternity. There we go. So that, that was a whole minute. And so you'll notice what's happened is the rat has consumed some oxygen. There is now less gas in this chamber. Um, and then, uh, excuse me, less gas in this chamber, less volume of total air in the chamber. So the atmosphere has pushed down on this other side of this tube and pushed water in. So the, like the rat is basically sucked in this much water. So then what you have to do is use the syringe to replace the oxygen that the rat has consumed. And that's what it's telling you to do next. So you connect the syringe you open this clamp so that your rat can now breathe. Um, then you sort of are supposed to guesstimate how much air has been consumed, judging by the difference here. I'm going to tell you just go up to like seven. And unfortunately, you have to click plus for every tenth of a milliliter. It is a pain in the butt. Um, so let's say we'll say 6.8 and you say inject it. And then it tries to level out the two red lines there. If you inject too much, you just start over. If you don't inject enough, you just say, well, inject a little more. And then try again and inject a little more and then try again. And a little more until it says level like that. Um, so now you know your rat has consumed 7.2 milliliters of oxygen. And... So this, it tells you to enter. You don't actually have to. You can be lazy about it if you want to. 
them. So it's 7.2 milliliters in a minute, and you then multiply that times 60 to get however much it would be in an hour, and you enter that and hit submit. Um, and then you convert your milliliters per hour to milliliters per kilogram per hour um, by dividing by 0.251, um, which I think that's what they're telling you to do. Yeah, uh, your milliliters per hour divided by the weight in kilograms. This is the weight in grams, which are one thousandths of a a kilogram so if you divide uh, your initial number which is going to be 400 and something by 0.251 you'll get 1700 something um, but you can just hit submit data uh, then you click the palpate which means feel the thyroid button to see if their thyroid is enlarged hit submit uh, and then record your data and as you can see it has calculated milliliters of oxygen per hour for you and converted it to milliliters per kilogram per hour for you um, so and then you put your wrap back and open the clamp a voila you have done one rat um, then you do it for this rat and for that rat same thing and then you go back and you inject each rat with this drug um, and measure and the next drug and the next drug. So you're just repeating the same procedure. You will get quick at it, I promise. Uh, then when you're done, you hit lab report. Um, and I'm going to say continue, even though I haven't finished yet, because you don't want to watch me do this for an hour. And if you've finished your experiment, it'll spit out a lab report which you can save to PDF, um, give it a name or your name or whatever, um, and uh, we're not actually going to save a PDF. Uh, and then you're done. You can print out your PDF if you want to. Um, I would recommend, I don't know how long the actual report is, because I haven't done the whole lab in a while, um, but if you want to print out at the very least, if there's a data table, so that you have uh, data to discuss in class on Monday, that would be helpful. Um, so once you've done the actual exercise, you can close that. Um, if you haven't completed, well, you should have completed your pre-lab quiz already. So you can close out the pre-lab quiz window and then open the post-lab quiz window and then do the post lab quiz and hit submit. You don't have to get 100% to get full credit on it, you just have to complete it pretty well. And I really don't know what the cutoff is, it's sort of a judgment call. Um, but do your best on that. Um, now I will give you a very, very brief run through of why we're doing this and what it all means and just talk about thyroid hormone for a second so that the activity makes a little bit more sense. Um, so we're looking at thyroid hormone uh, action or and regulation. Uh, the thyroid gland, if you are not familiar, is right there in the neck. Um, it produces um, a couple of hormones collectively known as thyroid hormones. We are just going to say thyroid hormone um, because there is one predominant form of the hormone that comes out of the gland. Um, the primary effect of thyroid hormone in adults is to stimulate metabolism. So higher thyroid hormone levels means faster metabolism. In the rat, that means increased oxygen consumption. Less thyroid hormone means lower metabolism. In the rat, that means lower or less oxygen consumption. The thyroid gland does not act on its own. It is under the control of, as this says here, the anterior pituitary, which is this little pink thing right there, or part of that little pink thing, the front part. Um, so the anterior pituitary secretes a hormone called thyroid stimulating hormone, or TSH. TSH goes to, or ends up in the bloodstream, 
when it hits the thyroid gland, it causes the thyroid gland to produce thyroid hormones, and then they go and do what they do for the body. Some terminology that you want to be familiar with um, is listed on this page here, and this is going to help you with the experiment. One of the rats is normal, which means it has a normally functioning pituitary and thyroid gland, so you can also assume it has normal thyroid hormone levels. The rat that says TX has been thyroidectomized, which means its thyroid has been removed, so it doesn't have any thyroid hormone. You can guess what that's going to do to its oxygen consumption. The rat that says hypox has had its pituitary removed. Uh, it's also called the hypophysioectomy, which is why, or excuse me, the hypothesis. So hypox means hypophysioectomy or removal of the pituitary. This will mean that that rat cannot produce thyroid stimulating hormone, so the thyroid gland is not stimulated to produce hormone. You will be injecting your three rats with three different substances. Uh, I believe the first one is propothiouracil, or PTU. This is a drug that blocks thyroid hormone synthesis in the thyroid gland. And so you can guess what that's going to do to thyroid hormone levels and oxygen consumption. TSH is the hormone we were talking about before. That is thyroid stimulating hormone, comes from the pituitary, stimulates the thyroid gland to produce thyroid hormone. Then there is thyroxin. This is what is commonly known as thyroid hormone. It is the major product of the thyroid gland. Um, in the experiment, you are palpating or feeling your rat's neck for this right here. That is an enlarged thyroid gland, um, which you get when you have elevated thyroid stimulating hormone levels. Um, so if for whatever reason your thyroid gland is not making thyroid hormone, your pituitary will keep churning out stimulating hormone to get it to make thyroid hormone. And once your thyroid stimulating hormones get high enough, instead of producing thyroid hormone, your gland just starts to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's where you get the goiter. Um, so that was just over 12 minutes. Hopefully that helps make some sense out of the Physio EX and you learn something from it instead of just clicking buttons and getting frustrated for an hour. Thanks. See you on Monday.